What's up, GDF fam? All right, I am back with another steamy topic. It's not like a topic, really. It's just mostly like a message, if you could tell from the title. Um, it was something that just had came on my mind. But before I get into this video, go on ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you're not subscribed, I welcome all new and old godly warriors. For all the old ones, I want to thank you for your loyalty, for your support, your continued support and love. For the new ones, I welcome you, and I'm so glad to have you a part of the G-Dub family. If you have not subscribed to my uh, vlogging channel, I also have a second channel called Walking in Promise Vlogs. Please go and subscribe to that channel because that channel is where you see every day of my life, things that I do in my day-to-day -day life. So, so let's just get back into this video because I'm not going to, you know, hold up the time or nothing like that. I was... I was just walking around one day and I was thinking, I was contemplating in my head. And um, I know y'all seen about Las Vegas and all the mass murders and my, my heart goes out to them. So let's just take a moment, moment of silence for Las Vegas. For um, them, you know, if you don't know the people, it was a man who had automatic weapons and he just started shooting off at a country western uh, concert and he killed 50 plus people and injured 400 plus people. And um, I, let's just have a moment of silence for those people, families, and those that have lost. Okay, and you know, and you know, ask, we'll be keeping them in our prayers, but. Uh, with that being said, you know, you know, God is more, this is, this is the title. God is more than an emergency call. He should be more than just an emergency call for us. Some people don't even think about Jesus or think about God unless something tragic can happen in their lives or something and of sickness and hit a family member. It have to always be something bad that didn't happen before we result to God. And that shouldn't be so. If you result to God every day of your life and continue to keep a connection with him, I'm talking about for it's like actually surrendering your whole life to God and dedicating your life and your movements and everything you do, your actions, according to what his will will be and how he will want you to live. And, and how you get those instructions is through the Holy Bible, G, uh, uh, King James Version. Um, then you, God can keep you in most areas for us. Like he can warn you when things are not going right, when things are, are wrong and when you don't supposed to be in a certain place or a certain time or when somebody is just to go through something in your family. I'm not saying this just as talk, but I'm telling you from experience how God have warned me. He have let me see things according to my family members. It don't even have to be me, but he let me see things in my family that something is supposed to happen within my family. Therefore, I know what to pray for. I know what to go to God about. And I also know to contact that family member or whoever and let them know, hey, you ain't supposed to do this. Don't go here. I had this. I had a dream. You know, and the thing about it with my family is that we're really um, uh, believers in dreams and stuff like that and signs and stuff like that. So, you know, God is more than just an emergency call. You, you, we need to call on him every day of our life, not just when things are going wrong or when things are going bad and when things is not, you know, adding up the way they should be. He should be a, a, a daily call, a daily contact. And how you call him is in through your prayer life, through prayer. So, uh, if you do not have a prayer life, I encourage you to get one. If you do not have a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, I encourage you to do so. And what I mean by a personal relationship, I'm not saying the type of relationship where you know he exists, you know he died on the cross, you know, you know, you go to church every now and then, and you will, you know, you might say a little speech or a little concept or the phrase that had God in it. Therefore, you, you think you have a true relationship with God. No. I'm talking about a true 
relationship where he dictates an author and he dictates and he's the author of your story. Meaning everything you do, you have to consult God first. Everything, friends you pick, uh, places you go, uh, 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 churches you visit. I mean, everything that you acknowledge God because he said a good man steps is ordered by the Lord. And in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. That's what I mean by a real personal relationship with God. If not, I encourage you to do so, you guys. Know that God is more than just an emergency call. Um, I love you guys. I hope this encouraged somebody. I want y'all to have a blessed, blessed, blessed day on today. And don't forget to continue to keep Las Vegas in your prayers. Matter of fact, keep this whole world in your prayers because this world is is going, is so evil. I mean, the things that's taking place is, is outrageous. Um, the devil is not stopping. He's on his job. He come to kill, steal, and destroy. And that's exactly what he is doing. You understand what I'm saying? So I encourage you all to grow a personal and close relationship with God. If you have that personal and relationship with God, stand. Continue to stand on the wall. Continue to stay prayed up. Continue to stay close to Jesus. Because in this day and time, you guys, we need him. We need him like never before. So I just want to give that to you guys this morning. I pray that you guys have a blessed, blessed day. I pray that God keep you all in the safety of his care. And to all my godly warriors out there, I salute you. May you continue to walk in promise. The promise to go there for your life. And I will see y'all later. Bye-bye.